Part 2. The PCB was totally destroyed, beyond repair. But what about the chips, the ones crucial for decoding the data with their unique encryption? Were they damaged too? I really hope not. Without working chips, the data would just be scrambled. So, I had to carefully remove and reball the CPU and transplant it with the ROM onto a new board. It takes specialised soldering skills. One wrong move or too much heat and I could permanently damage the chips, which means losing everything. Once done, I had to fix the internal damage. The drive lid was dented, but the impact had also crushed the drive heads inside. Once I got a compatible donor drive, I swapped out the heads, ramp, magnet and lid. The motor was fine. Lastly, I converted the USB board to SATA. Then came the real test. The head started working, but not quite right. After adjusting the firmware, I got them running much better. Finally, I was able to access the data. After days of reading, I recovered over 98% of the files. Years of our customers' photos. If you've got any questions about data recovery or need help, feel free to reach out. Follow me for more updates like this. Catch you later.